Hello and welcome to My Money at Work series of workshops where we will cover some of the most common focus areas for our clients. Our topic during this workshop is credit reports and scores. Upon the completion of this workshop, we hope you will have a good understanding on the importance of credit reporting and scoring and ways to approach your scores or reports for better opportunities through credit. Before we begin, here's a quick look at our current My Money at Work team members. Our team consists of three client navigators along with our engagement coordinator and program manager. Your credit score as well as the information on your credit report are important for determining whether you'll be able to get a mortgage, credit card, auto loan, or other credit product, and the rate you would pay. Credit scores are calculated based on the information in your credit report. Both credit scores and reports are multifaceted. This can make understanding credit and building it much more difficult. However, there are measures in place to ensure that you have opportunities to access and review all the information pertaining to your credit that can help you work towards building and establishing a good credit. It is important to review your credit reports from the three major nationwide consumer reporting companies. Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian every 12 months to ensure that they are accurate and complete. This is especially important if you intend to purchase a home or car with credit or otherwise intend to apply for credit in the future. Banks, credit unions, landlords, insurance companies, and employers can all potentially view your personal report. That is why the accuracy and completeness of your consumer reporting data is extremely important. You may also obtain additional free reports under certain circumstances, such as being denied credit based on the information from a report. In addition to the three major reporting bureaus, there are other consumer agencies that collect information and prepare consumer reports about you. Should you wish to review any of the reports, you can obtain the information directly through the reporting companies. There may be some fee in place to obtain certain reports. Should you encounter any inaccuracies within a credit reporting agency's file, you can dispute the report and attempt to have the information corrected or removed. Keep in mind that the reporting bureaus all pull information differently, which can affect the respective reports for your credit profile. Credit scores consist of data from the credit reports created by the reporting bureaus, which is then formulated into the number which you can view. Your score can differ depending on which credit reporting agency provided the information, the scoring model, the type of loan product, and even the day that it was calculated. Do not be overly concerned if your scores fluctuate, as it is not unusual to notice such occurrences. Try to establish or reestablish good credit behavior and history to maintain your scores closer to the excellent side of the charts. There are different ways to go about obtaining your credit scores. Of those methods, one of the most common ones available today is through a free credit reporting service. These free credit services like Credit Karma offer updates and monitor your scores periodically. One thing to keep in mind when relying on these free credit services is that some services use different scoring models like FICO or Vantage Score. This can be an important detail to keep in mind when applying for loans or credit cards. You can also buy scores directly from one of the credit reporting companies or visit with a local nonprofit credit counseling agency as they too can possibly provide scores to review with you. Another option to obtain your score is through any credit card or loans you may have. Plenty of banks or credit services offer free credit monitoring either through a mobile app or web page. If you are new to credit or have a poor history with credit, there might be a lot of areas in life that seem like an uphill battle in terms of your financial goals. Qualifying for any type of loan, lease, or mortgage might prove near impossible. However, rebuilding good credit history or establishing your credit can be accomplished with the right steps. There are several existing products considered helpful in establishing or rebuilding credit. These include secured credit cards, credit builder loans, or even a commercial retail store card. Regardless of which product you decide to utilize, be responsible and sensible with your credit line offers and make sure to pay those amounts owed on time. Here's a short video with some helpful tips to start building your credit. This is Kendra. Kendra wants to buy a new car. She has some credit from previous accounts, but she doesn't have enough credit history to get a loan. Seeking a solution, Kendra turns to consumerfinance.gov and discovers she has options to help build her credit. Among her options, Kendra could apply for a secured credit card, a credit builder loan, or open a retail store card. 
While each option comes with different responsibilities and requirements, all three require Kendra to make on-time monthly payments as a way to steadily build her credit. If Kendra chooses to apply for a secured credit card, she would pay the bank a security deposit, like you would when renting an apartment. The security deposit for a secured card typically ranges between $50 and $300. The bank would then give Kendra a credit card with a credit line matching the amount of her deposit. She has to leave that deposit in the bank while she has the secured credit card. If Kendra makes consistent on-time payments on this credit card, her credit record will improve over time and she could eventually graduate to a regular credit card and will be refunded her deposit. While various cards have slightly different terms, this is how most secured cards work. Kendra could also choose to improve her credit through a credit builder loan. Kendra would take out a small loan from a bank or credit union with the proceeds kept in a locked account and make payments to it, typically $50 to $100 per month. At the end of the term, which is usually about 12 months, the financial institution would give Kendra her money back. Each on-time payment is reported to one or more of the credit reporting companies and would help Kendra build both credit and savings. Another option for Kendra to start to build her credit is to open a retail store credit card. Many gas stations, department stores, and other retail chains offer credit cards. These cards are usually easier to obtain and typically have a lower credit limit than other credit cards. Kendra would still need to pay her bill on time every month in order to build her credit score. Kendra chooses to apply for a credit builder loan. After the 12 months, the bank pays Kendra back the $1,200 that she paid for the loan. With Kendra's new credit score and savings, she has the ability to buy the car she wanted and will save money when paying off the car loan. Building credit takes time, but it's worth the effort. As Kendra continues to make on-time payments on her car loan and other bills, her credit continues to improve. It's important to consider all your options when trying to improve your credit score. The credit builder loan might have been the right choice for Kendra, but a secured credit card or retail store card could be the right choice for you, depending on your situation. If you want to build your credit like Kendra or explore more information on improving and maintaining a good credit score, visit consumerfinance.gov slash credit. Please reach out to us with any questions or visit our webpage for more information. You can also visit the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau via the link and QR code for additional tips and resources. This brings us to the conclusion of this workshop. We hope this information has proven insightful to you viewers, and I would like to thank you on behalf of our team here at My Money at Work. Goodbye.